So welcome back to Third Rate Thursday on Thursday the 27th of July 2023. I've got a, a few things um want to just want to go over this week. Um but we're just going to start off with um something that I was going to mention on last week's Third Rate Thursday but I didn't have my notes with me up at where we shot last week's Third Rate Thursday. Um so I so I rolled it over and um and this we're gonna talk about it this week. It's a bit sad really. Um but it's recently, week before last on third rate content, we released the video for um the Museum of the Land of Lost Content um in Craven Arms, South Shropshire. We did visit it six months ago. Um <clears throat> just tucked away down the back streets uh in craven arms um I'd, I'd shot that video um on the same day i did a stokesy castle video which we released uh on tr third rate content and um shot it all on the same day and it, so uh, the net result was i was filming for about five and a half six hours that day you know two hours at uh, stokesy castle and then another three hours with Stella at her museum in Craven Arms. Obviously, Stella Mitchell was the proprietor and um, ran and curated the Museum of uh, 20th Century Memorabilia. Extremely extensive, as you may have seen in the video. Um, but I called by on my way back to Shrewsbury from Stokesy. I thought I'd call in, visit the museum. I had heard that the, the, that it wasn't there was a bit of trouble but i didn't know the particulars uh, anyway so um so we called called in uh parked in and parked up in craven arms and found the museum and i noticed that it looked lovely on the outside but it was all shut that the, the, there was no signs of life inside although it looked like you know it was still open but i did notice um more gentlemen but actually passing gentlemen pointed out your phone the telephone number that was on the door and uh stella as it turned out, and her husband uh, would come down and show you around the museum. I didn't even know what I was letting myself in for. I, I was uh, thought I was going to be filming, um, just guiding myself around. I was going to do an hour, half an hour, depending on how big it was. I did hear it had a million exhibits. I had read that somewhere. I don't. Stella said that is unconfirmed. She said she did. She didn't know that, but it had a heck of a lot of exhibits. And what 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 it was was. Um, the museum was partially closed when I visited it. Uh, I think it was March uh, early this year, twenty twenty three. Um, and Stella actually, I put you know, paid me money, and Stella took me round the whole museum, just one to one. There was no uh, nobody else in the museum. I think somebody came in right as I was leaving, but um, but Stella kindly guided me around the whole museum, told me the whole story of how she got the exhib exhibits over her lifetime and um, her, her sort of motivations and inspirations um, in, in making the museum. I mean, we did talk about some of them on the video, but um, it took me quite a number of months to get around to, to editing that video because um, despite it being a wonderful experience and very interesting, I did feel... Um, the sadness of the situation um stella did tell me basically the particulars of uh the the sort of downfall of the the museum the land of lost content um and and again i felt i, I wasn't going to mention any of those on the video so I, only any uh footage where we were talking about that just didn't put in or voiced it over or whatever um but it was kind of like visiting the museum was kind of like visiting uh, someone lying in state after they passed. That's sort of how it felt when I, was, especially when I was editing the video later. That sort of came across. The museum had kind of shot as a live, you know, uh, museum, and it was almost like visiting it after it had passed, but was waiting to be buried. And as it turns out, that is what happened. Um, someone who knows Stella I'll read a bit of it out in a moment but someone who knows Stella did write a very in-depth comment on the on the comment section of 
the video I released and um, I read it. I didn't really know how to reply at first because I didn't want to just say, uh, oh, thanks for watching, that's sad, or, you know, didn't want to be flippant or sound like I was flippant. Uh, so, so I had to sort of think about the right way to sort of um, frame everything that's happened. So, from my perspective, obviously, I don't know all the particulars, but it did did sound from what Stella told me, it was a, a very cynical move by her business partner. Uh, but I mean, you know, I'm very sad to hear about these things. Anyway, I'm gonna read you some of um, Stella's uh, friend who, who knows a bit more about what happened in the very last days of the museum so uh i'll just get that on now yeah so i'm just reading the comment that i've pinned on the uh the video um for the land of lost content but it's uh from john and he says uh he i've been waiting for this video since stella told me that you visited i'm sorry about the wait john um unfortunately soon after you visited the, the museum closed I have read the other comments on here. So to clarify, many years ago, Stella went into partnership uh, with the man whose name others have mentioned in the comments. The idea was to future-proof the collection for future generations as Stella has no children. And this is said to be the largest collection of 20th century British social history under one roof in the UK. So a critically important collection. It's been Stella's life work since the early 1970s. Unfortunately, the man lost interest in the museum and in a nutshell, without going into the whys or whereabouts, Stella has lost her entire 50 year collection and the building it's housed in, which she bought with her parents' inheritance. Very sad. To the man who now I believe is going to auction it off and not retain it. I saw Stella on the last day it was open and the locks were being changed. That the, that the week effectively locking her out of what was her own building. With all what was her own glorious collection inside it. Heartbreaking. Inside this was a place of tranquility where you forgot about the modern world and just took a step back in time. I'd visited for over 20 years. As a local, I'm devastated about what's happened. So thanks for that, John. And um, yeah, it's it was, I, personally, I think from what Stella told me at the time, it sounded like a, a cynical move from an individual, just from knowing their public persona on, on TV, I'm not mentioning any names, would have thought they would have had more of a, a empathy for something like Stella's collection. But it just shows you money talk sometimes. Um, but anyway, but thank you for that and for for um, framing um, last week's video. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, anybody, it's, it's there to watch. Um, it's like a, a bit of a bookend um, for the for the museum of the last the land of last lost content i've always had trouble stumbling over my words with that but thank you stella and her husband and i do hope that whatever you go on to uh you enjoy and is successful and thank you bit of a sweet corn update they will be ready for harvesting in the not too distant future and moving on uh, from that um, last week I asked interesting places well I also asked firstly I asked where was third rate Thursday film last week and then what interesting places would you like to visit that you haven't visited or that you have visited or that you just think are really wonderful splendid places and we had a few couple of answers actually so uh, we had Michael Michael Taylor says um I think one of the most fa fascinating and interesting places I have visited was St. Michael's Mount in Mounts Bay, Cornwall. Yes, very interesting site. Um, I have actually visited that as a child. I was about eight, I think, or nine. But I do have memories of it. 
and it's a it's like a sort of castle or, or on top of that lovely hill that actually gets cut off by the tide um i think once or twice a day uh, i think we walked over to it w when we visited but um there is a ferry that, part that i think anyway but it has got that interesting heart stone is what something else i remembered they say it was a giant's heart um uh, in the the uh, paving on the way up there up to the mount top of the mount and it's also a dead ringer for the saint michael's mount in france just off the coast of france uh, it, from a picture you couldn't hardly tell the difference unless you knew them uh, intrinsically and it's also connected to the saint michael's ley line if you follow that type of thing um and either energy lines connected around the, the earth or or the alfred watkins school uh, waypoint connected uh, with a line of sight the either the two um versions of the ley line theory um but they're yeah, fascinating and a lot of folklore and legend attached to that to uh saint michael's mount and the whole of cornwall of course beautiful place um yeah very interesting one but then moving on yeah, moving on we've got louise copeland hi louise and she says um could be anywhere lol yeah i suppose it could have been i did give a few clues out though I, I, oh and devil's chair on stipe stone so actually louise i'm gonna give you that one i assume you are answering the question that you don't want to visit devil's chair because that's very close to shrewsbury but um yeah i'm gonna give you that although it wasn't devil's chair we were at exactly we were actually at mitchell's fold stone stone circle and i filmed last week's third rate thursday on top of stapley hill nearby so i'll give you that we were very close to uh Stiper stones half a mile away or so um yeah so well done louise uh you get a badge for that <laughs> but, but uh when i have badges i'll send you one so i am partially joking at the moment but you do deserve a top contributor badge but i don't think they do them on youtube but thank you louise so anyway that's that part that's the that part of third rate Thursday. Third rate content. Is it going anywhere? It's just third rate Thursday. And it's just for the month of August. So uh, keep watching. We're not going anywhere. Now I'll let my colleague explain. But on that though, this week's third rate Thursday, last time we've been doing that for a while, is an episode of Endings. Um... Because after this week, Third Rate Thursday will be going on summer break. It's only a temporary ending. We'll be back in September. Um, I, w I mean, I only thought of doing the summer break sort of last, just before I did last week's, just last week, basically. Um, because I realised I'm going to be um, away from home for three weeks out of the four in august and um i'm gonna be with the family on holiday um <clears throat> going to the holiday park and um gonna be spending time at the holiday home uh near the, uh, the coast but the unfortunate thing is uh the internet for wi-fi has been actually paid for uh and but last and it was supposed to be turned on uh end of april start of may but last time we were there a month ago it hadn't been turned on I don't know what's going on, but I can't I can't guarantee the Wi-Fi um, for most of the month of August when I'm away, um, and I can't be doing with the stress of uploading. Well, you know, so why not have a summer break? Uh, we'll be back in September with Third Rate Thursday, but um, but we'll have a, we'll have a little break and uh, hope you have a nice break too and. Uh, and that leads us on to this week's talking point. What, if you've lucky enough to have a summer holiday this year, or you've got any plans to be going away, or day trips, or you've been anywhere, you've had your holiday already, feel free to tell us about it in the comments down below, and we'll have or we'll read them out when we return after the summer break. Um, so, so that's it really for third rate Thursday, uh, and see you after the recess. So if I don't see you soon, I'll see you three times as soon. And don't forget, feel free to leave a like, like, subscribe, or subscriptions really do help the channel at the moment, um, and comment. 
and uh, I will see you. Um, and by the way, just before I go, the third rate content will be continuing to release all throughout August on every Sunday lunchtime. No change there. It's just third rate th uh, Thursday horsefly. Um, we'll just be having the break. We'll, but I will be keeping up with lots of posts uh, on the community uh, tab and anything that uh, any sort of pictures or anything like that on shorts and shorts we'll be doing some shorts so uh third rate content isn't going anywhere it's just third rate thursday and it's just for a month so i'll see you after the break though we might harvest them during the summer break if we do we'll bring you a short rest assured and thank you to everybody who's liked shared commented and watched season one of Third Rate Thursday and see you in season see you in season two in September. Mm -hmm.